Last night, it was a triple stabbing in Homewood. Earlier this month, a triple shooting in Allentown. A 17-year-old killed there. And last month, a mass shooting that killed two teenagers and injured 11 more. It has been an especially violent time in and around Pittsburgh. People are grieving and frustrated, but not giving up hope. Jennifer Barrasso asked people attending a community vigil tonight what they would do about the problem. Jen, what are you hearing? Well, people say that this takes a village, Ken. Now, this was an emotional response to the trauma of those mass shootings that you just mentioned here in Pittsburgh and in Buffalo. And the big question is, will events like this one change or impact the gun violence problem? Another call to end the violence. Guns are out of control and our kids are killing kids. And sadly, kids are mass shooters. Church leaders and nonprofits teamed up for an interfaith event at First United Methodist Church in Pittsburgh. Coming together amid the senseless killings. Some blame today's culture and social media. The solution? We have to stop the vanity of these lifestyles and care more about our fellow human being. To treat others as we want to be treated, as some call the golden rule. And keep the faith and know that God is with us every step of the way. The big question, will events like these impact or change the gun violence problem? It's not absolutely stopping the violence, but you can't grow seeds that are not planted. So it is inducing people with a word of change and positivity. But maybe pulling in people that never really heard the true stories of the impact of a loss, and then they might want to get involved and try to do something. Catherine Massey. And as you just saw there, organizers lit candles remembering the victims from Buffalo and Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh police tells me, tell me that so far this year in the city, 27 homicides. Six of them were 18 or younger. Two were 19 years old. Reporting live, Jennifer Barrasso, KDK News.